Severe thunderstorms are possible just about every day across parts of western and central Oklahoma and western North Texas this week. Now, we won't all see severe storms, but there's a pretty good chance that between now and Friday, we'll be dealing with watches and warnings, and we just want you to know what to expect. This update was recorded at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday, May 28, 2013. Here's our severe weather outlook map for this afternoon and tonight. If you're in or near the yellow shaded area, which basically includes all of western Oklahoma and much of western North Texas, roughly west of a line from Perry to El Reno to Lawton to Archer City, Texas, you should be on the lookout for severe storms after 4 o'clock today. Now this area could be extended as far east as the I-35 corridor to include the Oklahoma City metro area later today. Storms will develop along the dry line across far western Oklahoma and quickly become severe as they move east. The most intense storms could produce damaging hail up to tennis ball size and like the storms we saw yesterday will be capable of damaging wind gusts. Storms will form into lines or clusters this evening and move east, approaching the I-35 corridor and the Oklahoma City metro area late this evening. Damaging wind gusts in the 60 to 70 mile per hour range will be the main threat. The tornado potential today is not zero, but it is very low. A tornado could occur with an isolated supercell storm late this afternoon and early this evening across far western Oklahoma and western North Texas. The risk area for Wednesday expands further east to include all of central and western Oklahoma, as well as all of our counties in western North Texas. This is not to say that everyone in the yellow shaded county is going to see severe weather, but you should be aware that it could happen and stay informed tomorrow about your local weather. Weather setup for tomorrow is very similar to today. With a dry line over the eastern Texas panhandle, storms are expected to develop by mid-afternoon Wednesday across far western Oklahoma and western north Texas, and given the unstable air mass in place, they should quickly become severe. Supercells with large hail and damaging winds are expected during the late afternoon and evening, with storms likely forming into clusters or lines during the evening. The tornado potential is a little bit higher on Wednesday due to strong wind shear, but the hail and wind will still be the most common threats. By Thursday, the threat area shifts east into north central and central Oklahoma, as shown by the yellow shading on this graphic. Keep in mind that we won't be able to nail down the exact threat areas for Thursday until we see what happens with the storms on Wednesday and Wednesday night, so check back with us as we get closer. The scenario is very similar to Tuesday and Wednesday, with storms developing along the dry line, producing very large hail and damaging wind gusts. Depending on where the exact pieces of the puzzle line up on Thursday, tornado potential could be even higher, so you will definitely want to keep up with later forecast and information. Now we know that this is the last thing people in central Oklahoma want to hear, and we are certainly not trying to alarm anyone, but we do want you to know what might happen and to think about what you can do to be ready just in case it does. Okay, that's the latest thinking from us. Now the rest is really up to you. You have to be sure that you and your family are ready to deal with severe storms basically through the rest of the week. So what should you be doing today? Well, a few things you might consider include making sure your storm shelter is ready for action just in case you need it. Have you freshened up your emergency supplies kit with water and snacks lately? Do your flashlights still work? Do you have enough batteries? How about a weather radio? If you've got one, does it work? If you don't have one, you might consider picking one up. They start at around $30 and can literally save your life. We encourage everyone to have at least three different ways to get a warning, including a weather radio. And finally, one of the most important things you can do is just stay in touch with the weather. The forecast will change over the next couple of days, so be sure to check back in with us frequently between now and then. There are more places to get weather information these days than ever before, and there is almost zero excuse for anyone to ever say it struck without warning. If you live in any of the counties shaded in white on this map, we are watching the weather for you, and the best place to get the most current information is on our website. We're also very active on social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, but remember that we do not routinely post warnings on any of those. We're watching the weather for you, but it's up to you to pay attention and take action when the weather turns nasty. 
Help us get the word out by sharing our information with your family and friends in the area who may not be paying attention. And we appreciate your help.